All right, so I was really curious how Emily created such a believable wax seal with our logo. It looks fantastic, Emily. So mm -hmm. this is what it looks like. Show the people how you did this. So you brought in the logo. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to filter, distort, uh, ripple. Mm -hmm. And right now it's giving me a little, you can choose between small, medium, and large. And let's just go large. Large, pretty good. yeah. Because you want it to have that unevenness, mm -hmm. that organic quality. But we don't want it to be like this. No, that's too much. So just something very subtle. So just to break up the perfect mm -hmm. vector. Kind right, of so angles. maybe something I like see. this looks good. Right, nice. Okay. Okay. And it's very subtle here, but we you, know that it's Yeah, you there. can't even tell unless, you know, you zoom oh, you can in. Zoom, you can see it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, it's got these kind of uh, uneven, undulated edges, mm -hmm. scalloped yeah. edges, if you will. I'm going to put the fill down to zero, mm -hmm. and I'm going to apply uh, a You'll bevel. You'll boss. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to play with these numbers here. Okay. Now, this doesn't look anything like what yeah. we were used to seeing. So some, this is like very hard. Mm -hmm. It's sharp. And Okay, so what are you going to do? Well, take me through what you're doing. Um, it said inner bevel, and I'm going to just play with the depth. You're looking for something that has enough depth to it, but doesn't feel like unbelievable. Exactly, right? to make it look like it's real. Now, the numbers that you're playing around with is relative to the size of the artwork. So if you have a very small piece of artwork, these numbers will not work. So it's better that you understand the concept more than you look at the specific numbers. Based on um, this specific image, it looks like the light is hitting us from the top right corner. Mm -hmm. So it's going diagonally this way. So I'm gonna have my light source somewhere around here. So the shadows fall the same way. Um, highlight mode, I'm going to do maybe a little bit grayer, it's, so it's not a complete black. Um, that's too dark. It's this thing right here. Mm, OK. I see if it's black, it's going to burn it in, and the colors right. are going to look really artificial. Looks like when it's black. Yeah, mm -hmm. OK, so you got to dial that back. Woo! You don't want that. So maybe something like that. Okay, yeah, and you turn down the opacity. And then we're gonna add an inner shadow. Okay, so now you gotta layer the effects on mm -hmm. because that didn't look believable to me at all. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what's next. We're gonna add an inner shadow. Okay. I'm gonna pick this color, the mm -hmm. probably the brightest color here, and yep. in this case it's like a yellowish color. Right, um, it's some like a other. warm white. Yeah, some other images you might have, you know, yellow, I mean, green, orange. You just want to match a highlight color there. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, if you look at the wax seal, the gold it has many shades. There's a coarse shadow, there's a highlight, and there's a reflected light, right? So when you're adding the inner glow, you're simulating what the highlight might look like. So you want to pick the same color and kind of simulate if it's got, the, it's going to catch the same amount of light. Yeah. Okay. And next, I'm going to add a little gradient overlay. OK. Is that to help the surface read a little bit better? Yeah. OK. Um, and let me just turn up the opacity. So this is with, you know. 100% opaque. Yeah. Okay. It's just a little um, shadow. OK. A little highlight on yeah, it? Yeah, highlight. Um, I think just a little bit would work. It's all about the subtle little shadows that you see. You don't see it. Um, if you just have one turned on, but when you add everything together, it starts mm -hmm. to come to life. Okay. Yeah. And the drop shadow is really important here. Well, that's the one that's so now that making it, it believable. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It really punctuates everything. Mm -hmm. So you put the drop shadow on linear burn because yeah. you want to use the colors from the background, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to eye drop something? Yeah, drop something, maybe the darkest color in the image so you're not using. Mm hmm. And maybe you want to just change up the blending mode. In this case, I think linear burn yeah. works the best. Okay. And it's just all about playing with the numbers. So this is one like where it's like seasoned to taste. Mm -hmm. Some people like a little saltier, but really what you're trying to do is to fool people that this actually wasn't made. So you're looking for anything that jumps out, right? right. All right, you guys can, can do this to your heart's content. I think that's what was important to me, was seeing how you set something like this up. Mm -hmm. Normally when you look at this, you think it's just one magic button and it's actually going in. There is one magic button, the Bevel and Boss, but going in layering effects mm -hmm. until you achieve the desired result.